Welcome to another edition of Cranky Gun Reviews. This is a beautiful, nice, cool Saturday out here at the range by myself, which I like. It's a great time to be out here. I have a variety of stuff I'm going to be shooting, but to start off, my brand new AR-15, which as I said in one of my last videos, Bear Creek Arsenal Upper, 1 and 9 twist, basically standard mil-spec type M4 cut barrel with a flash hider and a Palmetto State Armory Blem multi-caliber AR-15 lower with a mil-spec trigger group in it that they say they polish when they install it. And I'm going to be taking the first shots with it. I have some Wolf Steel ammo and I don't know what this stuff is. Winchester. Oh, this is GGG, Triple G. which I've never shot before. So we're gonna start off with the Triple G because it's brass cased. And I'm not doing a lot for accuracy. I'm gonna try to get it sighted in, make sure I'm at least in the ballpark today. And then I got some soda cans I'm gonna shoot at. So let's go ahead and get started. First time I'm firing this thing. Let's see how it is for accuracy. out of the box I I basically eyeballed the rear sight to get it in line left to right and the front sights right where it needs to be for 25 yards zero The silhouettes I'm shooting at are 10 inches wide, 18 inches high. So again, if I'm simulating shooting at uh, an assailant at 25 yards with a target that size, it's almost like assuming that person is another 10 or 15 yards away because it's a small target. So let's try some Wolf steel case ammo and see how that stuff functions. I'm curious about this because right now I can get a really good deal on Wolf steel case ammo. Um, I think I can get a thousand rounds for about 340 bucks. Um, so I'm going to see if I can accurately run this stuff through this rifle. And if I can, I might buy a case of it just to have some. The wolf was very soft shooting and cycled a hundred percent through the gun. I put three or four magazines of this stuff through the rifle today without a single hiccup. I'm very happy with it and I do plan to buy more. I can't really tell that much difference between one trigger to another. I've shot several AR-15s, and to me this trigger feels like it breaks at about maybe six pounds, nice and crisp, and I think it's fine for me. I don't really plan to do anything with it. All right, so that was 90 rounds I just put through th that thing. Hit one of these soda cans at about 10 yards. I wasn't aiming at those yet. I hit one off the top of this. This is 25 yards, and that's my target. I mean, everything I shot, I didn't shoot all 90 rounds at this one target, but everything I shot was on this target. And at the end, I was doing double taps. So you can see a couple close to each other here, a couple up in the head as I was transitioning from this target out to that target at 50 yards and that target at 50 yards back there and then back here. Again, this is a 10 by 18 target. And if this was a human being, 
shooting this at 25 yards is actually simulating shooting a little bit further away if you were shooting at a, a real human target so acceptable accuracy for me out of that thing i did have one in the bullseye on this i think it was when i was doing rapid fire i pulled the gun to the right one time but still there to there is only about seven or eight inches between the two of them so if that was a human or an animal definitely would have hit him so let's get set up and do some more So now I'm going to do some a little bit more precise shooting and this is uh, kind of to show that at you know 25 yards an AR-15 even with regular open sights if you're trying to be precise obviously you can be very precise I know a lot of people that shoot with open sights on an AR-15 well out past 100 yards I mean this particular rear sight can go all the way up to 600 yards I believe I'll probably never be good enough to shoot 600 yards with this open sight, but just the fact that I can pick off soda cans at 25 yards off the top of my rest um, kind of lends itself to this being as useful or more useful than, say, a double barrel shotgun. Now, I can talk about the efficacy of a double barrel shotgun, too, where, you know, walking out on your porch and just firing two blasts will scare off anything that's coming, but... You know, some cases in AR-15 with a 30 round magazine or clip zine or mega clip or whatever you want to call it is a better approach. So let's see why. So this right here is a pretty good example on why you need more than two shots out of an AR-15 and why they typically come with either a 10 or a 20 or a 30 round magazine. Sometimes shooting at small objects, you miss. couple reasons why for one not only having a larger capacity is better because if you're shooting at targets that are running towards you or jagging side by side and you only have two shotgun blasts and you fire at them and you miss reloading takes a long time with a side by side shotgun whereas if you have a larger capacity magazine you can just keep shooting so you can see there I mean it took me a good 15 shots to hit the three soda cans off the top and the three on the ground and Maybe it's just because I just got this rifle and I only put, you know, three magazines through it so far and I'm not used to it, but I was able to continually fire. So if somebody was still advancing at me and dodging the bullets and charging me either with a handgun or a knife or trying to do malicious intent to me, I was still able to dispatch them. It might have taken me a couple extra shots, but if I had a double barrel shotgun and fired two blasts, I wouldn't have the capability to keep firing. I would have to quickly reload, which is not that easy on a side-by-side -side shotgun. Whereas with this, I can just keep shooting. So efficacy of AR-15 versus shotgun? Absolutely, it's a great idea. It's a great self-defense rifle. It's great for home defense and it's good for protecting your loved ones.